What's up, guys? Here we go. I'm going to do another video. Uh, we're going to do Desolate Lands. We're going to do a Shadow Stream. So, I want to say that, you know, my videos are starting to pick up. You know, a lot more people are commenting, and I so appreciate that. So, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, like I always try to say. And it's still going to take 10 minutes, even though I want to do 5. So, Shadow Stream, I did get expert plus plus but my best record doesn't show it so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about shadow streams moves you know what shadow stream actually does and how to be effective on beating this this is the prime team right here we've got i'm going to go through everyone Li Guang, 210 speed we have her on astral I could have her actually on wind, but I have her on astral so she can keep going. Attack, attack, speed. You could have it crit damage, attack, speed. Doesn't matter. Alice, fully skilled up. That's a must. She attacks, you know, it gains an assist so someone can else attack. I have her on wind, HP, HP, speed. Ira. I'm about to switch her to attack because I've seen a lot of formations, the top formations, do her crit damage attack attack or crit damage attack speed or attack attack speed. And that's working. I have her fully accuracy up. HP accuracy speed. Unky Chai. Gotta have him on two, 200 plus speed. Defense, HP, speed. The reason I have defense is because couple of these desolate lands he was getting rocked meredith again 200 plus speed hp hp speed and of course guys the main damage dealer the god of kings the king of gods speaking backwards crit damage attack attack it's gonna be our main damage dealer for when the multiplier gets active Let's go into the moves. Info. These are some suggestions. These are things I wish I had. Unas. <laughs> okay. Shadow Streams. Mm, Shadow Stream has unlimited HP. Players must survive enough turns to achieve victory, as in all Desolate Lands. Venom Sting attacks the player's front line first. The lower your Esper's defense, the higher the damage. The damage is shared among all targets. Players can place Esper's with high defense on the front line to reduce damage taken. Burst Nimbus inflicts Venom Smear on all enemies. When Shadow Stream casts Epic Impact Storm, it detonates all enemies' Venom Smear effects, dealing massive damage. Venom Smear can only be cleared after taking a turn. Before Shadow Stream casts Impact Storm, clear as many Venom Smear attacks as possible and collect more Shadow Flower Petals. So that you can stun Shadow Stream, get the multiplier, blah blah blah. Thus, deploying Espers that can change AP, Anki Chai, bonus turns, Astral, that's why I have Astral, and speed up effects. That's what this is all about. Having AP, speed up effects, and to keep taking turns. She has speed. She she gets AP up. She just buffs you, but makes an assist for another Esper to go, thus having another turn. More turns. She gives AP up and reduces AP, but she can also do this. All ability cooldowns of an ally, negative one. That's paired with Unki Chai, this ability, to all ability cooldowns, negative one. More turns taken. More chances for this AP up. And her to go again, and everyone to go again. So, I'm going to do it once, then I'm going to do a multi-battle. I'm going to do Blitz, so you can see it in real time. And we're at 4 minutes and 54 seconds. We're doing great on keeping the 5 minute rule. 
this is good. I really wish it would show my expert plus plus, but you know, if you don't have a picture, it's not real. So hopefully right now it can hit expert plus and uh, it would make my video. If it doesn't, then that's fine. I'll do it on the blitz. Hopefully that goes through. We're gonna leave this on, on auto. As you see, AP up. All of this doesn't matter. This is just like every other desert lands. You're just attacking the boss until his moves goes up. So I'm pretty sure it's called Venom Sphere. Venom Sting. Attacks front line. Boom. Hits everybody. It's this. Fluttering pose. There we go. He's going to debuff the whole team. It's right around the point of the... Oh, wait. No, I lied. He just attacks the front line again. <laughs> Actually attacks all enemies. Deals extra damage to the front line. So it's first Nimbus is what we care about. Venom Smear goes on everyone. That's AP up. So it brings that little bar down a little bit more. Protection. She's going again. Another turn taken because of AP up. AP up. <laughs> Another turn again. It's all pushing down this bar. We've got speed effects. Which makes everyone go again. She's going again. Another person going again over there. Guy's taking another turn to transform into uh, God King. That's another turn being taken. What we want is this multiplier to hit 18. I've only hit 18 once, and that was my expert plus plus. But I'm pretty sure for here, I'm only going to get to 10 or 14. Nice. In these freaking pedals. We're only at eight right now. If we can make it to 10. Yes. This is all about cycling everyone's turn and having speed. AP up. She goes again. Nope. Okay. So we'll cap off at 10, which is okay. We're, we can still hit. Oh, times 12 multiplier. And a good enough damage, we can get at least expert. On horrible terms, you can get triple S plus. It's all about how high we can get this multiplier. And that's really where Alice comes into fruition because she can assist. If she hit assists with Gaius, he constantly does his move. If we can get this up to like 400,000, golden. This attack, this team works for me. I've been tinkering with it every so often. There's a lot of other teams that actually work. You know, if you have Unas, you're getting, you're getting immunity and AP up for everyone. Every time he attacks, just freaking stupid. If you have him. Now, if I had him, I'd be so happy. So we're get, we're coming up to like almost 600,000. Nice, we got that multiplier. We got 7 million at the top. All we need to do is survive now. I'm gonna switch her into attack. This is gonna be beautiful. We still have AP up, but none of this really matters. This is just extra damage. Say if you if I was nine million nine hundred blah blah blah, this damage would even matter, but it doesn't once you pass the finish smear stage of getting the flower petals. All right, everyone's gonna survive, which is awesome. And we got expert. So expert allows us to still get the gold, the legendary uh, boost stones. And of course you have the event tokens and you'll always, if you can con consistently get expert, you will always get epics and, and you know, large percentage get some legendaries. If you look at the stats, other than that, that's my video. I'm going to do a blitz so you guys can see, hopefully I hit an expert plus plus if not, uh, I'll cry expert, expert, expert. Expert plus. If I hit 10 million, then you know I've got it. It's not going to give it to me for the video. <laughs> Please. All right, guys. I hope this video helped you out. Um, of course, as always, check the strategy section. See what everyone else is using. Look, this person is going. Like, just put the front line of Gaius. Same team. Well, Unas. Wow. 300 speed. Sheesh. But as always, check your strategy section to see different formations that are out there around your skill level. If you're only hitting S, check your formation to see what other double S people are using or triple S. Uh, just to get higher and higher, tailor your build. 
And as always, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. The next video, I'm going to try to do Shadow Gale. But that's my weakest one. So until I actually find a build that gets me close to 9 million, 9.8, 10 million, uh, you know, it's, it's stuck at 7. Until I can actually get it to close to 10 million, I wasn't planning on doing a video. But if you guys want me to, I will. All right, have a good one.